Hello, my name is Carlos Lee. I'm uh, the Director General of EPIC, and I would like to share with you the results of the EPIC Annual Salary Survey. We've done that in the past, and we renewed it in 2022. Why do we do that? To allow our members uh, to benchmark their salaries uh, versus other photonics companies in their country or versus other countries. Maybe you're hiring employees from other countries. You plan to have some employees in other countries. What are the salaries over there? The EPIC survey is different in a couple of ways. First of all, the input is provided by CEOs or CFOs or the person in charge of human resources of a photonics company. And the results are not shared publicly. They're actually only going back to uh, the CEO, CFO, human resource person. So the purpose is to help uh, management in, uh, in with, with the salaries. Uh, the, the process is that we send the survey, we get the results, uh, we keep it uh, anonymous, confidential, of course. We look to standardize uh, the currency, um, the, um, we look at the numbers to see if it's well as we intend, you know, it's annual gross salaries. And we do not make averages. We actually, and I will show the results now. We don't make averages. Uh, we share with you the raw data so that you can play with it as well. To have access to that, if you are um, one of our members, uh, please contact me directly and we'll share that with you. So here is what the it looks like. As you can see over here, we give you the raw data, as I mentioned. Uh, we have asked um, typically the salaries of people who are working in sales, into business development. Uh, you can see it here at the top the various kind of positions, people who are in more application, product development, engineers. And we looked at it, you know, with experience, 0 to 5, 6 to 10, um, 11 to 15. That also allows you to see how do the uh, salaries uh, compare to others. You know, this is really benchmarking yourself with others, and we all learn from that. How do the salaries grow in the positions as people grow in experience? You will also notice that we have here the country filter, which is, I think, is what makes the most relevant. You may be looking at how the salaries are different from country to country. We got responses from 160 uh, photonics companies out across 28 countries. You may want to look at that, but really more relevant to you will be, for instance, to pick a country. So if you're, for instance, a company in Germany, you may want to look at the salaries in Germany. Uh, then again, you will see, uh, as I said, the, the raw data fully anonymous, of course, but you can see the wide range. So you can see that it goes maybe from a, from a factor from one to two uh, in how much companies are paying. Now, maybe you want to have it more relevant for you. Maybe you're a company with, uh, let's say, uh, 21 to 50 employees and have it narrowed down to that. And here again, you will be able to see the wide range of, of the companies. There are some other fields that we have over here that you may be able to play with. Again, we could provide our members with the full data anonymous and confidential, but with the full data so that you can play with it. We ask, for instance, if your company is in a, uh, compared to the average of where your location, the cost of living, we're asking the attractiveness of the city, if there's a relevant university. Now, some of these questions may be more or less relevant. Uh, I, I do I realize that asking how attractive is your city, because this will affect salaries, is a tricky, difficult question to ask. Uh, if there is a relevant university, actually, almost most companies have it. We also have here the currency field, if you want to look for specifically for uh, across Europe, for instance, in euro salaries. And if we scroll down a bit more to the right, you will be able to see a couple of other fields over here. Uh, for instance, we're asking if the companies provide a bonus. Well, just a generic question, but you know, in fact, uh, more than half of the companies, uh, actually two thirds of the companies do provide a bonus. Um, we also have some other questions, for instance, if they will have, if they expect ch challenges in hiring people. Yes, you know, two thirds, more than half of the companies probably expect challenges in hiring. Another 30%, maybe they think there will be challenges in hiring. Uh, here we also ask what is the average uh, sal uh, average uh, revenue per employee. Again, we provide the raw data so you can play with that and get a bit of an, an ID of, uh, of, of uh, benchmarking yourself. Uh, here in the last column, you can see the who provided the data. We just want to make sure that the data is coming from the people who are knowledgeable about that. So we hope that this information, just as everything that we provide at Epic, will be uh, useful for you in your company strategy. And if I can share one more thing over here, with you is um, what we do also in HR, and I'm just typing it here on the website, just give me a moment, is uh, the Jobs in Photonics website, Jobs in Photonics. Uh, we help our members by posting their op job openings. There are more than, it's not six, it's actually 7,000 job openings. Uh, it's updated on a continuous, regular basis. And we also have HR partners. So Vision and Markets is more focused on the vision market. Humo is French-based, Orion Engineering is Netherlands-based, uh, EO Executives Online Germany-based, 
inside is based in uh, in France, but dealing worldwide with executive positions. Profound is based in the Netherlands. So Epic has uh, several HR partners, uh, and we also thank our sponsors who enable these jobs in Photonics website. As always, Epic is there to help our members, whether it is with growing the company, finding investors, hiring people, uh, finding uh, international partners, uh, distributors, organized international delegations. The technology meetings is the heart of what we do, uh, bringing people together, usually 100 people all across the whole uh, supply chain, value chain, from the end users, integrators, the components, suppliers, manufacturers, services, uh, bring everybody together. Uh, lobbying is also part of our activities market reports so if you need any questions about epic uh, please do not hesitate to contact me but i'm assuming if you're watching this video you're already a member of epic so this is more to give you an update on how to use uh, the epic salary survey and uh, that is accessible to you and it's been freshly updated thank you for watching have a nice day